but uh, one of the most famous fundamentalist Baptist colleges, West Coast Baptist College, led by Paul Chapel. Now, the thing is this, is that we Bible believers, you got to understand, we came from independent fundamentalist Baptists. But the difference with us Bible believers from independent fundamentalist Baptists is we studied more Bible, whereas those fundamentalist Baptists, they just stop and think about church growth. And because of that, they're so weak in doctrine that they don't know much Bible. And I don't care if they're King James only, those King James only fundamental independent Baptist churches, they all talk about worldwide revival, including your beloved Paul Chapel, because I got a letter from their school. And this was years ago. Okay. Dear Gene Ha, so that's my full name. Thank you for your letter and question concerning the rapture sent to Pastor Paul Chapel. He has asked to contact you regarding this matter. Your question as to why there could be a, a revival in the last days leading up to the rapture is a good question. Now, this is a independent, fundamental, famous Baptist college that stands for King James only. Okay? I never heard Benny Hinn. I never heard Joyce Meyer. I never heard charismatic apostate churches give an explanation than what you're going to hear from this independent Baptist college. So listen, okay? Let me say that God was willing in the Old Testament when Israel had fallen into apostasy and had turned away from God that God still sent revival. The prophets had already been proclaiming the coming judgment upon Israel when Josiah became king over Israel, 2 Chronicles 34. I believe God is willing to send a revival any time God's people will get thoroughly right with God and wait on the Lord for it. As you see in the life of Josiah, when he repented and got right with the Lord, revival broke out and God sent a message to him that God will delay his judgment until Josiah was dead. It did not stop coming judgment, but it certainly delayed it. So you see his argument is that yes, Israel was doomed to apostasy, but it didn't change the fact that it did have a revival in between even though it was doomed to apostasy. But you know what the simple answer to that is? It's because you got a government leader who forced these people to serve God. Thank God for, for what a lot of things that Trump is doing, but let's be honest, did he change America? No, the America just got even more apostate. They just got more mad. They just rant and rape, oh, Trump this, Trump that, blah, 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 blah. Look at revival in America, see? He even took forcible steps, did he not? Did we get revival in America? No, for crying out loud, see? So until you start putting the Ten Commandments back in school and don't ban prayer, and then you start doing these things, and then you see Great Awakening Revival preachers not criticized on news media, and you see a lot of the young people not ending up messing up in the world, and we don't have to worry about that anymore, then, then I'll say we got revival, okay? Another reason that God would send a revival right before the rapture, now listen, okay, would be to give this what world one more opportunity to come to Christ and salvation before it is too late for them. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8 through 10. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God is patient and willing to give every man opportunity before he brings his final wrath upon this world. Now, the simple answer to that is in every dispensation, which ended up in apostasy, what makes a church age any different? In every dispensation that ended in apostasy, God, of course, gives them a chance to get saved. But does that mean that mankind had a revival when they were given an opportunity to get saved? Let me ask you this, in your soul winning, you give an opportunity to someone to get saved? Did they joyfully receive it? No, a lot of them don't, right? So just because God gives an opportunity for a person to get saved, that is not a good argument that, oh, that person will get revival, will get saved. That's, no, it doesn't. This is the craziest one. You all ready? Listen to this. Pay attention. Thirdly, I could see one more great awakening here in America. America does not seem to appear in the end times prophecies. And one explanation could be 
that so many people will be saved just before the rapture that hardly anyone is left in America and it is swallowed up into another nation or world leader. I trust that this may give you an answer concerning your question. Have a wonderful day. I never heard Benny Hinn say that. I never heard Joyce Meyer saying that or Joel Osteen, an independent fundamentalist, King James only, Baptist person in West Coast Baptist College. Now, independent fundamentalist Baptists, including West Coast Baptist College, I know that a lot of them are sympathetic toward Bible believers and Dr. Ruffman, but it doesn't change the fact that just because you're sympathetic toward us doesn't mean you're right. See, if you don't teach doctrine and start studying doctrine, then the thing is then you're going to say crazier stuff, crazier stuff than charismatic kooks. And what kind of a testimony is that? See? So that's why it's important that we're not just independent fundamentalist Baptists. We're Bible believers. See? Yeah. We're Bible believers. That's what we are.